Hey, ever no, it's just <laughs> wait for me. Back again. Thank you for stopping by, Black Hat Brigades, right here. What up? Uh, what are we doing today? What are All we right. Got? So today we have a hot glue gun that is battery powered. This is a Bauer from Harbor Freight. I picked it up for like fourteen bucks. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. We are going to modify it today to accept a DeWalt battery. Why would we do that? So basically, uh, I'm in the DeWalt battery line, and DeWalt does not make a hot glue gun. Yet. DeWalt, calling you out. And this is only 14 bucks, so we're going to go for it. Let's make our own. That's that's what this channel is all about, point folks. It. DIY hot glue gun, power mod. I mean, I'm just excited to get this project started. To be honest with you, I think this will turn out pretty cool. Let's what do, do this. Think? Yeah? All right. All right, what do we got to do first? First of all, unboxing. Don't cut yourself. I'll try not to. No guarantees. More importantly, don't cut the product. What we got here? We got hot glue gun itself wrapped in plastic. Cool. Hey, uh, where's the manufacturing country of this <laughs> hot glue gun? <laughs> Let's I'm going to say uh, <laughs> China. Calabasas, California. Oh, that's just pretty. There's no way. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. No manufacturer origins. Does not fit. It goes that far. That's it. That's it. Okay. We got three uh, complimentary glue sticks, too. Why'd you look at that? And instructions, which we're probably not going to read. We'll just throw them away. Screw those. We don't need anything. We don't need to know anything. We just do our own thing. And look at the camera. Don't hit stuff on the table. Is that battery fully charged? Yes, it is. Okay. That does not want to stand up there. Whatever. We'll do that. Okay, so I did some research online. Found out that you need to... Put in a 10k ohm resistor between the TH pin and the negative pin, but we're going to do that internally inside the glue gun so that anytime you just connect the battery, it's good to go. And that bypasses the thermal overload circuit on the DeWalt battery, which if this lights on fire and burns your house down, I'm not responsible. <laughs> we take absolutely no... <laughs> do this at your own risk. Yeah, do this at your own risk. Don't try this at home, kids. Yeah. Well, we do want... No, to try it at home. Just don't yeah. hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you, just, you do? No, do this at home. Just don't blame us if it goes wrong. Yeah, because we're not held liable, okay? <laughs> okay. Take that to the bank. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, right there it is. Made in China. Made in China. If you can see, first things first, this little black tab, this little tab on the bottom there, has to be removed because that stops the DeWalt battery from being able to be inserted. It hits on the back of the battery. So we'll start with that. That's got to be removed. I think you got to trim off some of these little tabs on the inside too. And then we got to solder this in place on the inside. So let's make the battery fit in here first. And once we achieve that, then we'll open it up and we'll put the resistor inside. First things first, this little tab, I'm going to trim it off. the front end at a little bit of an angle bevel this part at a 45 so the battery tab slides in and out notch these out and 45 right there and it slides in locks into place stays in there and it's removable So 
resistor connected between the small red wire that went to the TH terminal and the black one. DeWalt battery connected and powers up. LED light comes on, red light comes on, means that the glue gun is heating and no flashing green and red like the original. plastic fumes and uh, painstaking hours we finally got it we actually did it, it is official so look at this bad boy battery in and out so it slides all the way in locks into place nice and tight releases relatively easily fits like a glove boom so we got some of these black glue sticks off of Amazon link will be in the description strike that baby out all right, yeah. So Let's first we gotta turn it on and it'll heat. We got the LED light functioning normally. Red power indicators on on top. Originally it was flashing red and green and that meant that the resistor wasn't in place so the thermal overload circuit was being not being met or something. So anyway, that is mitigated now and we're good to go. Glue gun is heating up. Let's put some glue in it. Oh yeah. Where has black glue been this whole time? Well, what better glue to use on the old Black Hat Brigade YouTube channel but black hot glue. There we go. It's fitting. It's fitting, folks. Ooh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. BHB, if you're not with it, get with it. All right. Now you can use your Bauer Harbor Freight hot glue gun with your DeWalt batteries. DeWalt? There's this is your call to create <laughs> hot glue guns. <laughs> Bauer so we don't too. have to do that. You're slow to the game. Dude, that's like pretty strong. That's good stuff right there, man. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid.